Good morning, Bristol and Barnstable. It is Nicole from the Physio Crew doing my quick Ask Nicole questions. Um, it is Saturday morning, bright and early. My first patient isn't until nine, so I've got half an hour to go through some of these questions you've been sending in. Um, the first question for today, do you remember the first one, was um, how does help, um, taping help ankle sprains? Will it help ankle sprains? And which taping should they do? So quite often, um, obviously I worked in elite sports, so um, we do lots and lots of taping in elite sport. And I do some now in private practice. I tend to use something like K-tape, which is a stretchy elastic um, taping. So there, there's two really different types of taping that you'd use in an ankle sprain. So you've got um, a proprioceptive taping. So proprioceptive means that you're helping the ankle know its position in space and time. So when you have an injury, your um, the connection between the brain and the foot, or the brain and the ankle and the soft tissues, um, doesn't work quite as well, and that's why people often lose their balance or um, or might find that they're more at risk of another injury. So a lot of the rehab that we're doing for ankle sprains um, is to make sure that that is all working normally, and that the um, the ankle itself, the muscles are strong and can stabilise so that you don't go over on it. Because unfortunately, with ankle injuries, once you've done it once, it's quite common that you can do it again. Um, so it's very, very important that you get it strong enough. So some of the things that we might test to make sure you're okay to go back to sport or go back to normal activity, we might look at how long you can stand on one leg, compare it left to right, because some of you guys are just really bad anyway with the um, with your balance. Um, we might get you to do a hop, but don't try any of these things unless you've you've seen somebody about it, because it, there's a we use like a series of tests. So the first thing would be, for example, going up onto ankles, um, to like going into a heel raise. If you couldn't achieve that, we wouldn't then ask you to do it on one. And then we wouldn't ask you to do a little hop from left to right, but with not as much weight going through. And then we would then do the proper hop. So it's all about doing it in a way so that we don't risk re-injury and also making sure we're aware of tissue healing times. So we know that if we test it and we see that a ligament is lax, we know that ligaments are going to take up to eight weeks to heal, um, sometimes longer than that, depending on how severe they were, depending if you had a rupture rather than a tear. So, um, so yeah, so don't try these ones at home unless you've been, you're sure that it's fully resolved. So taping can help proprioceptively. So we know that just putting a small bit of tape even on the knee can affect the um, kinematics, the position of the ankle and the hip. So that's really, really important and can be very useful. And then, of course, we can use it as an actual complete protection. So um, that's kind of the thing that you you would do if you were going onto a sports pitch for example now there's a lot of kind of myths a lot of people think that if you put like a neoprene support that's going to give you enough um that's going to give you enough protection it doesn't neoprene will not give you any protection it might make the brain feel a bit better you might get a bit of a placebo response um certainly when i've injured myself I've used neoprene supports but i'm um i'm aware that that's probably my brain that it's helping not necessarily the structure itself if you look at how flimsy it is it's not really going to protect a, a structure like a, a ligament if it's um if it's severe injured um, but what you can do is you can use zinc oxide so zinc oxide is the really tight um, not tight sorry non-flexible tape so it's the one that you would never put around a limb because you can reduce um, the blood circulation if you're ever wearing tape and you start to get pins and needles numbness or it's going blue take it off um, you shouldn't be doing whole limb ones um, we can show you a different technique for that but um, yeah not around the whole limb because you're going to lose circulation and then that won't be very good for all those poor little tissues in your foot that aren't getting any blood and oxygen um, so zinc oxide can be protective um, again we position the tape tape along depending on which ligament is affected we're going to position it so it's almost acting like the ligament itself so if you have an inversion injury so for example if your foot goes inwards we're going to look at making sure that the foot is positioned in a neutral position we're going to apply the force um, in the in the direction that stops the foot going inwards so if for example you'd had an inversion injury so that means that the structures on the outside are injured then we're going to take the force of the tape to go out to the outside and then what that will do is it will help to protect that structure and reduce the risk of it going inwards now we have to remember with taping that taping is um we we know that rigid taping like that it changes the whole idea of it is that it's protecting so it does change the range of movement so if you do a really really tight um ankle support which reduces dorsiflexion and, and inversion eversion a little bit that's going to change the position of the knee and the hip and you are at slight increased risk of then injuring somewhere else so it's always this kind of catch-22 of right so we're protecting this joint and um and in everything with physio is a risk benefit analysis so if you've got um the rbs um six nations 
final next weekend um, and you're, and you're going to end your career after that, then we're going to treat you very differently. We might take some more risk with that than, um, than someone who's like a 17-year-old who has... Um, you know, in, injure their ankle, got a whole career ahead of them. They need to make sure that it's absolutely right to make sure that they don't get re-injured. Um, so, you know, it, we very much do it on a, a person to person and, and what's important to that person. Is it just a charity thing that actually we can just go a little bit slower at and, um, or, or if you just want us to tape you up and get you through it, we can sometimes do that. Um, it is really important as well that you know that I will always be a Meg We'll always, and, and Abby and Stuart and, um, and Morgan, we will always be really, really honest and say, look, these are your options. We never say, I, I rarely ever say, you absolutely mustn't play unless they're like a, a kid who's decided that they want to go back and they don't understand the risks of it. Um, but I'll always say, look, these are your options. This is your risk. Um, it's your decision because people are always really worried. They're like, oh, I'm going to come see the physio. They're going to tell me I'm not allowed to run. Like we don't, we don't do that. It's it's all about making sure that um, you are educated in your condition so you can make uh, accurate judgment. So it's very much patient centred. And um, yeah, so that was um, the ask Nicole for the what taping is useful in ankles. So I couldn't be more specific, but it completely depends which structure. If your foot's gone inwards, we do a completely different taping than if your foot has done eversion or if you've had a high ankle sprain um, so that, that's what we need to work out and then yeah the exercises and things are a bit different depending on which um, which structure is injured all right then guys hope that's been helpful I'll have a little look through my list and do my next question in a minute take care bye bye